Welcome to this lecture series in real analysis. Today we are going to discuss the algebra of convergence. It is going to be a very elementary lecture and uh, I don't want to get into details of any of the recap. What we need to know is what is an infinite series, what are partial sums and what is meant by convergence of a series. It just means that the sequence of partial sums converges. Alright, and we last time we discussed the Cauchy's criterion for convergence. We don't need to know this for this lecture. Okay, so here are some problems for practice and now let us get started. So there is not much to discuss and I'm not going to write down any proofs because they are very easy. So suppose we have two infinite series, uh, the first one and the second one is indexed by or rather the, the letters are A and B to denote the terms and suppose they are convergent then the summed series so this is a series whose nth term is the sum of the nth terms of the participating or the original series so the sum or the summed series also is convergent and further the limit of the series or the sum is same as the addition of the individual limits <clears throat> as expected and similarly the scaled series if you scale the first series by a real number c, meaning the nth term of the scaled series is what? The scale of the nth term. So this new series is also convergent and its limit is c times the limit of the original. Very, very simple statement. The proof is an exercise. Should be immediate. Okay, so that's, that's great. Now one more concept, regrouping. Again, a very simple elementary concept. So what are we doing? We have some infinite series and suppose we have a sequence of natural numbers increasing n1, n2, n3 are in increasing order. So we define a new sequence and then we will form a series once we have defined these numbers. That's, I mean, that's already written over here, but what are, what is the definition of B1? So you sum up to the first n1 terms of the original series, right? You start with the index 1 and go up to n1. Then you sum up the next uh, terms of the original series up to n2. So you start with the next term, so that is n1 plus 1 its term, and then you go on up till n2. And then you go to the next chunk and so on. So this way we will be generating a sequence and hence a series. And this is called a regrouping of the original series. We have kind of grouped the first n1 terms and then the next, not the next n2 terms, but the next n2 minus n1 terms and then the next n3 minus n2 terms we've kind of regrouped them that's it so that's a new series and this is called a regrouping very very simple concept and an associated lemma if we have an if we have a convergent series then any regrouping of it is also convergent and converges to the same limit to the same sum very very simple statement the proof is an exercise. So nothing, I did not do anything in this lecture, uh, very, very uh, basic things. But yeah, I wanted to keep it a separate lecture because every time we discussed any concept, we discussed the algebra of it, like algebra of sequences and algebra of continuity and algebra of derivatives. So it makes only, it, it only makes sense to keep the algebra of infinite series as a separate lecture. Anyway, so uh, as usual, like, comment, share, subscribe and I will see you next time.